2021 was an eventful year in space exploration, with NASA's new Perseverance rover and Ingenuity helicopter landing on Mars, along with the launch of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Now moving forward, an exciting 2022 lies ahead with many space missions slated to launch in the coming months. So let's find out more about all of the space exploration missions to look forward to in 2022. Number 7. Psyche Asteroid The Psyche mission is a journey to a unique metal-rich asteroid orbiting the Sun between Mars and Jupiter. What makes the asteroid Psyche unique is that it appears to be the exposed nickel-iron core of an early planet, one of the building blocks of our solar system. Deep within rocky terrestrial planets, including Earth, scientists infer the presence of metallic cores, but these lie unreachably far below the planet's rocky mantles and crusts. Because we cannot see or measure Earth's core directly, Psyche offers a unique window into the violent history of collisions and accretion that created terrestrial planets. The mission is led by Arizona State University. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is responsible for mission management, operations, and navigation. The goals of the mission include understanding a previously unexplored building block of planet formation, iron cores. It also involves looking inside terrestrial planets, including Earth, by directly examining the interior of a differentiated body, which otherwise could not be seen. This mission would also explore a new type of world, and for the first time, we would be examining a world made not of rock and ice, but metal. Next, the science objectives of this mission include determining whether Psyche is a core or if it is an unmelted material and determining the relative ages of regions of Psyche's surface. This mission will be launched in August of 2022 from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida and will arrive on Psyche Asteroid in 2026. Number 6. SpaceX's First Orbital Starship SpaceX will fly the first orbital test of its massive Starship rocket and expects a dozen or more launches in 2022, founder Elon Musk stated. The company is targeting early March for its first Starship orbital launch, with as many as a dozen test flights to follow in 2022. Both the Starship vehicle and its Super Heavy booster are now complete, and the launch pad and tower at the company's South Texas launch site were expected to be completed by the end of 2021. If all goes according to plan, the inaugural flight will place Starship in orbit for a brief period of time before re-entering Earth's atmosphere and splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. Starship consists of two elements, both of which are designed to be fully and rapidly reusable. If SpaceX is able to recover and reuse Starship during this year's test flights, Operational missions could begin in 2023. The company plans to eventually use Starship for crewed missions to Mars. Number 5. NASA's Space Launch System NASA's Space Launch System, or the SLS, is a super heavy-lift launch vehicle that provides the foundation for human exploration beyond Earth's orbit. With its unprecedented power and capabilities, SLS is the only rocket that can send Orion, astronauts, and cargo directly to the moon on a single mission. Offering more payload mass, volume capability, and energy, SLS, the world's most powerful rocket, can carry more payload to deep space than any other vehicle. The SLS rocket is designed to be evolvable, which makes it possible to fly more types of missions, including human missions to the moon and Mars, and robotic scientific missions to places like the Moon, Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter. However, rocket woes have delayed NASA's return to the Moon. The space agency set a new date after engineers and technicians successfully removed a faulty engine controller from one of the four space shuttle main engines that power the massive rocket. NASA is now targeting mid-February for an initial rollout of the Space Launch System rocket to the launch pad. Number 4. ExoMars ExoMars, or Exobiology on Mars, is an astrobiology program of the European Space Agency and the Russian Space Agency, Roscosmos. The goals of ExoMars are to search for signs of past life on Mars, investigate how the Martian water and geochemical environment varies, investigate atmospheric trace gases and their sources, and by doing so demonstrate the technologies for a future Mars sample return mission. 
The first part of the program was launched in 2016 that placed the Trace Gas Orbiter into Mars orbit and released the Schiaparelli EDM lander. The orbiter is operational, but the lander crashed on the planet's surface. The second part of the program was planned to launch in July of 2020 when the Kazachok lander would have delivered the Rosalind Franklin rover on the surface, supporting a science mission that was expected to last into 2022 or beyond. However, the second mission was delayed to 2022 as a result of problems with the parachutes, which could not be resolved in time for the launch window. The mission is now expected to launch between August and October of 2022. The rover is equipped with a special set of instruments designed to search for organic molecules and dig farther below the surface than its predecessors. Number 3. DART Spacecraft In November of 2021, NASA had launched a mission to smack an asteroid into a new orbit to prepare for the possibility that an asteroid in the future might threaten Earth. NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test Mission, or DART, will essentially practice what the agency might do if a relatively large asteroid were on a trajectory to collide with Earth. The mission will attempt to hit a space rock nearly head-on, smashing into it and tweaking its orbit. While no known asteroid larger than 140 meters in size has a significant chance to hit Earth for the next 100 years, only about 40% of those asteroids have been found as of October 2021. DART is now scheduled to arrive at its target, an asteroid named Didymos, and its moonlit Dimorphos in late September 2022. The mission is designed to test a new method called the Kinetic Impactor Technique to deflect near-Earth asteroids for the purpose of planetary defense. If successful, NASA and other space agencies will be encouraged to follow up the mission by developing craft that could deflect a larger asteroid heading towards Earth and so avert an Armageddon-style impact, say astronomers. Should an asteroid the size of Dimorphos crash on Earth, it would trigger an explosion equivalent to 400 to 600 megatons of TNT. Experts believe that a city like Manhattan would be completely obliterated. Number 2. Prime 1 In late 2022, NASA will send an ice mining experiment attached to a robotic lander to the lunar south pole on a ridge not far from Shackleton Crater, a location engineers and scientists have assessed for months. NASA has partnered with an agency named Intuitive Machines for commercial moon deliveries. Under the deal, NASA will pay Intuitive Machines $47 million to deliver the space agency's polar resources, ice mining experiment, or Prime 1, to the moon's south pole. It is the first ever mission designed to harvest water ice from inside the moon. Moon ice is a resource that NASA hopes to exploit under its Artemis program, which aims to return astronauts to the moon in 2024. Prime 1 consists of a drill paired with a massive spectrometer, a 4G LTE communications network, and Micronova, a deployable hopper robot. After landing, the Prime 1 drill, known as the Regolith Ice Drill for Exploring New Terrain or Trident, will attempt to drill up to 3 feet deep, extract lunar soil called Regolith, and deposit it on the surface for water analysis. Prime 1's other instrument, the mass spectrometer observing lunar operations, will measure volatile gases that readily escape from the material excavated by Trident. The resulting information from Prime 1 and other science instruments would enable NASA to build a sustainable lunar presence. Number 1. Space Tourism A trend that kicked off in 2021 and will undoubtedly gain momentum in 2022 is space tourism. By mid-2021, two private companies, Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin, launched paying customers to space. Now, While we haven't yet gotten commercial space stations or moon vacations, Space tourism is definitely here to stay, and we will have some exciting developments in 2022. For instance, if you missed the opportunity to live the dream as a space-interested kid, Space Camp is an option for you. Space Camp offers a variety of astro programs with dates available between February and July 2022. Experiences range from a two-day basic program to a six-day advanced academy where you'll immerse yourself in the hands-on training and work that astronauts do. Among other things, you could book a ticket to space in 2022, or at least to the edge of it. In fact, it has been reported that Virgin Galactic has 600 to 700 reservations already lined up, meaning there could be a scarcity of seats. So, you might want to hurry up. So what do you think? What are your thoughts on the space exploration missions of 2022? 
Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. See you next time. Goodbye.